Hello, this is a video demonstration of my fractal projects in Desmos. The first one I did is the Sierpinski's triangle. The Sierpinski triangle works pretty simply. You start out with an equilateral triangle, and then you cut in a upside down equilateral triangle that's one fourth the size. And here's the next step. And you just continue this process um, on into infinity. So this isn't technically the full fractal, but it is a, uh, a few steps of it. This, um, and uh, doing this fractal is really fun because uh, you have to define a function that places every triangle in the right place. Otherwise, it would take way too long to place them manually. And so, um, yeah, and here's some of the math. It's not too long compared to other stuff. The next one I did is effectively based on the Sierpinski's triangle. It's uh, a square fractal, but instead, uh, um, and you cut a square into the middle, and you continue this. I can't go as many steps into it because there's way more polygons, and Desmos just can't handle that. Again, here's the math. It's a little bit longer, but still not too much. Uh, the next one is this line fractal. Um, it works fairly simply uh, in concept. It's uh, you have a branch that shoots out into two more branches, and the angle between them and the original one is uh, is consistent for every little branch. Um, and so there's a there's symmetry as you go. In. Um, this one's really fun to just play around with and uh, adjust the values of the angles. You can create a lot of cool shapes and patterns um, as you explore it. The final one I did is the Mandelbrot set. This fraction, fractal works by um, iterating a function on every point. The function, if the function shoots out to infinity, then it's not part of the set. And if it uh, doesn't shoot out to infinity, then it's part of the set. Uh, these green lines and dots are uh, iterations of the function. So you can see it's huge when I go out and uh, centers down when I go into the middle of it. Each bulb also creates interesting patterns for each iteration of the uh, function. Like over here, we have some stars, and they get more complex as you go into the smaller bulbs. Um, and this is just a approximation of it. Um, I don't actually know where uh, I haven't iterated the function enough to uh, truly go to infinity. Um, but you still get some really interesting shapes. And uh, Desmos isn't perfect. It does approximations, and so. It's a little bit of glitchiness as you zoom in, but it's still really cool. Okay, thank you for watching my video.